what's going on? You got the five of pentacles um, as the energy for your week, uh, for your whole week here. As the five of pentacles is about, you know, it's about feeling left out in the cold, you know, not receiving any support. But this is also about ignoring help. You know, ignoring um, assistance, you know, walking past the the, the warm, uh, cozy cottage um, that when you're beat up and tired and ready to just, you know, fall out. So, honestly, while well, this reading already looks, I'm going to go with you guys are uh, dealing with some, if dealing with ignoring some help, possibly, or feeling left out in the cold as well. Um... I say that because in your heart, the heart of your um, your reading here is the King of Cups. So there's somebody that you're interacting with that's possibly a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or someone that you see that's very romantic, very loving, very good at their emotions, or possibly emotionally manipulating. Okay? Um, this person is also very intuitive and very psychic. So I don't know if this person that you're dealing with is someone that is psychically um, to, with you. Um... You're dealing with somebody that is possibly very intuitive, um, but this is some. This is somebody I think someone that's coming in to into your life that's being very psychic, or maybe you're being very psychic. You're being uh, very, um, you're very controlled with your emotions at the moment. Um, it's very interesting because what's crossing you is the Ten of Pentacles, so it's keeping you from your happily ever after. Whatever this. Maybe this person isn't keeping you from your happy ever after, but there's some psychic stuff that could possibly, like, that's hindering it, if that makes sense. So, like, maybe there's some, some there's some psychic connections with this person. Maybe this is somebody that you're dealing with that's a soulmate that you have a psychic connection to. Um, and it's, and you're not, you don't have a happily ever after, um, right now. <sighs> oh, that's weird. Um... Maybe there isn't any stability at the moment either. Like the like the 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 Ten of Pentacles is about legacy. It's about not only um, emotionally emotional happiness and uh, fulfillment, but it's also about uh, financial stability as well and emotional and financial stability um, fulfillment. Um, so possibly this is this real this real relationship could be getting in the way of your. Of your, you know, your work in regards to getting to that stable happily ever after, um, getting those ten of pentacles, you know, having that set up to where you have a foundation for the future, because that's what the ten of pentacles is all about. Um, you know, building that money up so that way you have you have a you know have a good you know future ahead. Um, the crowning energy has the queen of cups in it, y'all. This is. Somebody that, again, is a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or someone that is very intuitive, very um, good with, you know, very good at expressing and comfortable in their emotions. Um, someone that is also um, very loving and nurturing as, as well. Um, so perhaps it's saying that you need to communicate with them in a psychic way, or you need to express and to be as romantic, okay, express your romance. Uh, because there is possibly a lack of romance right now that's keeping you from your happily ever after. Or there is some connection between, the like a connection between you and this person. And this is a, this is a very, like, intimate relationship between you and this person. It could be a male or female. It doesn't have to have a specific sex. Um, in the past, you had the higher rent, so perhaps you had something more traditional, a traditional relationship, perhaps you you, know, you were married. Um, I don't see the four of wands anywhere, so I don't, I'm not going to say that. But perhaps there's some um, something along of possibly traditional differences, even. Um, uh, there, yeah, there could definitely be some traditional differences in the past here. Or things going in a way that is conforming to, or, or doesn't, or didn't conform to in the past. Um, but in the present, though, you have the Three of Cups. So this comes up, um, this is more of like letting your friends help you. This is about the support. Maybe you are getting receiving, or getting or receiving support right now from friends and family. Um, hmm. Which is good. Or maybe you're giving support to friends and family right now that need it. 
that's good. That's cool. Um, whew. Um, but in your future, though, you have the Nine of Cups, so you're going to possibly be wishing and manifesting again. You're trying to get what you want again. And that's good. Always. I mean, everybody deserves what deserves happiness. And you guys are trying to get the, the nine of cups. Trying to get your wish. And that's how you see the future. You, you see the future as wishing. Um, let's go ahead and clarify. Let's go ahead and clarify these cards right fast. What is the king of cups all about in the, in the problem of circumstance? Wow. Okay. Things are clicking for y'all fast. And this is in regards to strength. Now, this could mean that you guys are trying to, you know, connect with your inner passions, tame your emotions, tame your inner side, so you have more control over yourself. Um, this possibly is talking about controlling your emotions. Um, the strength card isn't isn't about control. The higher friend is. Um, this is about using your inner strength and using um, the the human part of yourself to use grace. And, um, yeah, in your inner strength to go forth. So perhaps you're going through an emotional time right now. You, you're trying to, you're, you're, you're using strength to express your emotions. Hmm. Okay. What about the Ten of Pentacles and the, and the, the crossing the portion of the spread? Okay, the card that comes up for the Ten of Pentacles is the Queen of Wands. So someone that you possibly see as charismatic, um, someone that's very good with people, socializing, being the life of the party, someone that's very active. Um, someone that you also see that can be very passionate. Oh, this is someone that is an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So uh, maybe there isn't any, there's maybe the, there's any passion in this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. What's crossing you is that not only is that, that you, you know you're not able to receive this new beginning because of some emotional, some emotional um, strength, you need to you know be prepared to go through something emotional possibly, but it's also there isn't any passion, there's no excitement there, um, or this person is and maybe there ooh maybe there's a third party going on, that's really weird. Maybe you're maybe. You're in love, um, but you're not in love with said person. You want to be in love with this, with the Queen of Cups, or perhaps the Queen of Cups is the Queen of Wands. <sighs> oh man, whoo wee! This is complicated. This is definitely complicated. Um, wow. Maybe you see your happily ever after with the Queen of Wands, and you cannot connect emotionally. Ooh, this is weird, y'all. This is weird. This is weird. Um, I'm meditating on this right now. Because I'm throwing a monkey wrench at me. Um... Just go ahead and pull the rest of the cards and maybe it'll, it'll come to me. Alright, let's clarify the Queen of Cups. Whoa. The Queen of Cups. So, this is the Two of Wands in the Tower. So, pretty much. This is about. Oh, maybe this is about. You being in love with two people and it's keeping you from, this is keeping you from your happily ever after. You're not making a decision. You have to make a decision or the universe will. There's something unexpected that could be happening right now. This is the advice coming up. Make a decision about who your lover is going to be, who your partner is going to be. Because um, the universe is coming to intervene. You don't want them to do that. Um, you don't want them to pick for you. Shoot. So this is about deciding who your partner is going to be. Um, this is about a decision about taking initiative. Someone, maybe this is about you being in love and you're 
you maybe you don't have a lot of confidence right at the moment. This, um, you you don't have a lot of confidence in how you in in emotions at the moment and how you feel. Um, or maybe you are confident in how you feel, and it's but you're you're kind of torn about this person that's coming into your life. Maybe you're not sure about the person about this Queen of Wands, but you you know you have passion towards them. Um, you want happiness with them, but you're not sure at the same time. Or this it's just it's really getting complicated here because the Queen of Wands and the Ten of uh, Ten of Pentacles. It's being crossed, so it's so it's a it's not gonna be it's not it's, it's whatever is going on is keeping you from happiness, or there isn't any. Maybe you don't see like a stable, a stable happily ever after with the Queen of Wands. Maybe you guys are seeing possibly some sort of some sort of um huh, challenge in this. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think so. Maybe not a challenge because I don't see any five of wands here. So it's... Oh, the queen of wands. The queen of wands, man. Um, In the past, you had the uh, the high friend. So possibly a passionate and exciting new beginning. Possibly somebody that has, you know... Um, possibly that's someone that has um, traditional differences. Um, age, sex, uh... Um, culture, relate, uh, religion. Um, but this is, but it was exciting. It was a new beginning in the in the past. Here, it was it was the start of something, start of something exciting. Um, but, whew. maybe, you, maybe you aren't, maybe you aren't opening up. I'm trying. I'm still trying to figure this out, yo. Maybe you aren't expressing yourself in a way that could lead you towards the happily ever after that you want with this Queen of Wands. Maybe perhaps you have you you're protecting yourself in a way. This the strength card is also, is using your inner strength to push you through a difficult situation. It's a form of protection as well, um, because you you know with the lion when you tame the lion. You have that self of, you have that sense of, you know, taming that beast. You have, you know, you have a weapon. So if you need it, you can use it. But you are, you're, it's also a piece of vulnerability as well with the strength card. You, you feel vulnerable right now. Oh, maybe this is about vulnerability and you don't want, maybe you're, this, this feeling of vulnerability, um, can get you to the ten of can get you to the ten of pentacles with this queen of wands if you let it guide you. If you let it guide you. Now to clarify the uh the the ace of pentacles, you have the three of cups. So this is a new beginning, a stable new beginning with uh, with a group. Or maybe this is starting a new job because not because this again, the three of cups is speaking about community. Okay, perhaps there's um, the beginning of this foundation is because you've got you are starting a new job soon, or you're starting something that's that you know has more passion, or maybe you want to be passionate about your new about your state of the beginning, but you're kind of all in your feels at the moment, and you're trying to work through it. Oof! All right. Uh, so presently, you guys have the Ace of Pentacles with the Three of Cups. Like again, I said, uh, it could be starting a new job right now. You could be starting this new beginning with with um, something financially stable at the moment. Okay. And your future. What is the Nine of Cups in your future? Let's go ahead and take a look at this. The Three of Wands. So perhaps you're um, you're going to act. Act on your wish. You're going to put some action forth. You're going to act based off of what you're manifesting. I think that's freaking amazing. Okay, that's great. Um, and the result of all of this, uh, the result of all of these, all of these cards coming up here is the Ace of Swords. Victory. A new perspective. Um, a new beginning. 
and f with new ideas. All right, that's great. That's really great. Um, and it's clarified by the Knight of Cups. So this is victory uh, based off of what you want. The Knight of Cups is always is about going after what he wants. Um, he's also the very romantic knight. Um, he's somebody that always that goes in based off of you know he's looking at his cup. He's like you know what, this cup is more important to me. And you're getting you're getting victory off uh, from from what you desire. I think that's pretty awesome. Ooh wee. Very interesting. For a second there, this looked like a third-party relationship. Perhaps you guys are, maybe you have, you are torn between the person that you're seeing here. Maybe there is two other, two other um, people that you're seeing at the moment. You have to make a decision um, before the universe intervenes. So, because you don't want the universe to, um, you know, give their two cents on the situation by actually putting some action forth. So this is about deciding on deciding to taking a deciding which path you're going to be taking in regards to your lover. Um, I hate to say, but when Tower comes up in the crying energy, it's more like it's kind of like a threat. If that makes sense, it's always kind of like do you gotta make your you gotta do something you gotta you gotta put your action forth because if you don't we're gonna be there <laughs> pretty much uh, so you always want to do something before the tower intervenes um, let your friends help you um, ask for ask for and accept help uh, support from others uh, again this kind of talks about the five of pentacles and the three of pentacles and three of cups in your future so you're getting support you're getting maybe you're, you're getting the support you need to have this new beginning maybe you're getting maybe you're letting your friends help you with this new with this new venture that you're starting it, maybe it's not a new job maybe it is letting your friends help you um with this new this stable beginning here okay that's pretty awesome I'm glad to see that. Friends are awesome, aren't they? That's cool. Five of Pentacles. Mm. Wow. All right. Wow. Okay, so you guys have Yang as your Wisdom Oracle card. Yang uh, is basically about, it's the masculine energy. It's about doing. Um, it's going up forth and putting action towards the things that you want. When yin is about receptivity, yang is about um, receiving, or sorry, uh, yang is about going off and doing. It's about putting in the effort and putting in the work to manifest what you want. So you have to, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you gotta do. Make your decision, you know what I'm saying? The essential meanings is the um, masculine principle of movement and creative activity. The power to make things happen, taking action. Okay? Um, so, this is the uh, oracle's message. Your uh, Yang represents the power of action, the energies that propel the world forward and manifest things thought and desire into concrete concrete form. Now is the perfect time to act, for you can easily build uh, momentum and make headway. Um, what you want will come to fruition if you proceed confidently. This card signifies new life and is a sure sign that obstacles have been overcome. There is no reason to hesitate. You are the shaper of your destiny now. Okay. So that, that kind of explains the strength card. So you you are you do have confidence, um, perhaps, or you you're having issues with confidence right now in regards to how you feel, and it's towards your um, it's in regards to your ten uh, to the happily ever after with this Queen of Wands, the Aries, the Sagittarius, Leo, or someone she is very passionate, um, active and creative. Okay, 
but you gotta make it, you gotta do something. You gotta make this decision toward, of like going about doing this. Like if you're in love with this person, go ahead and take them, okay? They are ready for you to go ahead and say, hey, I like you, let's make a future together. Um, if you already have done that, this is about making a, a decision in regards to like moving to the next level, maybe making that next step towards um, you know, being more stable, you know what I'm saying? Um, for those of you that are in a relationship already. <laughs>